Hey, welcome to the final segment of the 25 Cent Play podcast, a segment we like to call Second to Last Hit, wherein each week Steve uh, plays a free champ in League of Legends and Charlie and I holler at him. Uh, even though we're recording this at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I did open up a Rainier just because I feel like I can't properly holler at you if I don't have a beer in my hand. Uh-huh. Uh, so today we have decided that Steve is going to play Teemo, uh, as always against beginner bots, because we will be reading the tooltips and spending a lot of time in the shop. Um. As I was just saying, there's no point in, in playing intermediate bots because their tactic is just run at you like assholes and try to overpower you. Um, which is also the tactic that most people uh, play against me in the bottom lane and blind normals. So, you know, it's good practice for that. Even if you're going to be on the bottom lane. Word. All right. Let's. So who am I playing? Teemo. The Swift Scout. Short answer to lock in is you have lock in. Uh, yeah, I don't know where he is on the list. He's T. Yeah, because if you don't insta lock them, you're not going to be happy <laughs> with Timo playing. On duty. Timo on duty. Thanks, Timo. Uh, please, please be sure to. Uh, uh, should, I, should I play my defensive uh, mastery? Play, play what now. You, you play what you play with Ash, dude. Yeah, I'm going to. Yes, that's what you're going to. Uh, never underestimate the scout's code. I'll just go bot. I'm going to buy a Dorian's Blade. That's where I'm going to start. No. I'm not going to no. buy boots and pots. Buy boots. You're not probably, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you need to buy it. You, you, even against bots, I recommend it just because you're not really practicing for the real game if you're. Yeah, also, I, I, I would Unless not, Kale's going to go support Kale and heal you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do Dorian's Blade on him as a start off item, really. I mean, like, it. you're not. The magic of Teemo is that he is like an ability champ that you can build insane attack speed on. You're not real like like the your basic skill is to get those mushrooms and those blinds down to support kind of who you're working with. He's really good in a, like a duo bottom lane. He doesn't really need a true support. He needs like someone who can kind of hold their own. He'd work really great with Alistair. That kind of thing where it's like Oh, they go to attack Alistair. Now they're blind. Alistair pops them in the air. Then you get to throw down a couple of shots on him, and your poison eventually kills them. And then as they Perfect. run away, they hit a mushroom. You know, things like that. You you really you he's much more tactical. He's a super strategy oriented champ. Um, and but the thing is, he can either go be built AP so that you enhance those abilities. If you're gonna play him mid lane. AP Teemo totally works. I've seen it totally work. Uh, if you're going to go bot lane or top lane, then you probably want to stick more toward an AD build. And by AD, I mean a lot of attack speed. Because basically you just want to drop as many of them on there so that your your poison just sort of seeps on you. Um, there you go, boots. boots and pots. Good. All right. Yes, sir. Boots assume, and pots. Assume your position. He, and... uh, Teemo is totally viable top lane. Uh so, Steve, you you'll notice your passive mid. if you if you stand still, you will disappear. Yes, I do know that passive. I personally think this passive is kind of useless. Um, two, it's kind of really hard to make use of. Uh, uh, I kind of wish they just reworked it so that it was something else. Maybe with the stealth, uh, the stealth uh, rework, that will get changed as well. He's not. It's not a remarkably useful thing unless you want to be the ward. Which is a good way to go. Oh, let me So, yeah, you'd walk out and just stand still. And, uh... So, uh... I think I will go Blinding Dart and then Toxic Shot. 30 seconds until yes. Blinding Dart, I believe, is the safest way to go because you, you're you not going to do a lot of damage. You're probably not going to pick up a quick kill, but if someone gets really, really, uh, um... aggressive and they attack your, your teammate, or they attack you, dropping that blinding dart on them, they can't auto-attack you, and it goes bad for them. And then you can kind of chase them away a bit. Uh, that, that can be really, really effective. Um, to that point, uh, if you play with players who have no understanding of how this game works, if you keep dropping blinding darts on them throughout the game and they're convinced that you got lucky because they missed... Um, not because you used an ability that causes them to miss. It's even sweeter. Because they're like, you're a noob and you got lucky. And it's like, no, I used an ability. Can you look and see what that Kale's building? Because she might actually be playing support. Kale, is she? Uh, no, she is not. Played, no. She's playing AD. 
But, you know, she can heal you, so she's always kind of But you're kind of supporty, so that's the key. Oh. Alright, so you're going to want to drop that blinding dart on Ash. I mean, How do you feel about support rise, the viability of support rise, Charlie? I don't... I don't... That's got a sting. It does got a sting. Well, it's clear that the bots aren't on the internet reading the meta, so... No. It's, uh... I know that... So, Steve, just remember that, like, once you get your ultimate, you want to always be putting down mushrooms. Because the sooner you, you put down a mushroom, the sooner you'll get to put down another mushroom. Mm, not so much. You, you, you build up a cache of three mushrooms, but we'll get to there. Two, three, four. Yeah, because essentially an auto-attacking champion is kind of shut down with that blinding dart, which is really good, especially if you can bait people into trades. Um, the, in. the computer doesn't really get baited into trade. It just sort of gets killed. Yeah. Um, but you can see how in a case where, you know, someone gets gets all their feel strong on and says, I'm gonna auto attack the crap out of this dude and then they're not attacking and you are and then they're getting poisoned. It's nice. It's a nice thing. Beautiful story. Um <laughs> Timo is, is very fast. He's got a pretty good movement speed. Yeah, he's and, pretty quick. Uh you'll see when you get his Yes, that ability that you get a, a, a dash. You can run run out. So Surrender. it's usually not a great idea to get a uh, ghost on Teemo, but because you kind of have that duplicated. Um, I would say Sumner spells flash and, uh, you know, teleport. Uh, teleport's Are really kind of cool for Teemo because he can teleport to a mushroom. So you oh, always yeah, have yeah. that as a, as a backup to... Uh, for weird position. Do mushrooms give you any any vision in bushes? They give you eight. They give you uh, DMF. If you've ever played Caitlyn, you know her bear traps. Yeah. Basically the same thing. Uh, so you you can kind of cover the like if you put a bunch strategically in front of dragon, you'll know if someone is walking through them. And they, you know, but you know you gotta pay attention. It's not just gonna show you if they're there or not. All right. So Rise is getting a little bold. Yeah. Which I is what you're supposed to do when you play Rise. Yeah, I, I took a bit too much damage off the tower. I am not last hitting like a boss, I can tell you that. He is, uh, this show is called second to last hit, not last hit, so don't worry about it. Your key to uh, um, is, is farming a lot of gold. Is that eventually you will uh, you'll, you'll get some, some good moves. Uh, why in the mid lanes is good for AP because you're going to need some very expensive items. Um, obviously, that enhances your the poison, yep. and it enhances your mushrooms. Your mushrooms can do a tremendous amount of damage, but it's hard oh, to make man. them a feature if all you're doing is kind of like hanging out. Um, so that's why most conventional wisdom is you turn them into the attack. Worth it. Worth it. Oh, not worth it. I'm glad you guys didn't actually see what just happened. Yeah, it's faster than being back. You sh how do you not know not to dive towers at this point? So uh, I, I got the Ash and then dove to get Rise, but he was a little So if you don't away. think you should get a Dorian's Blade, like, what, what do you want to go s s rat right to Zeal? Yeah, get those get those attack speed boots, you know? Keep going. That's a good yeah, get the Greaves, yeah. Uh, I, you know, you don't even need to really go go for a Stinger. That's a good one. Or if I actually like to go and get the Recurve Bow, if you see the see the green hand up there, that's that's my money item for uh, uh, Mr. Teemo. So getting, uh, you know, getting the Madras Blood Razor and the, the components of that are really awesome. Uh, it gives you, a it allows you to do a tremendous amount of damage. Ah. Look at uh, Madras Blood Razor. Right now you're just going to keep on the farm. Yeah, stop. Just kill Ash again. Stop worrying about that so much. Oh my god. You only drop a blind. <laughs> Uh, one thing too is the you know the the desire to push up on is uh, remember you don't have to go to the, go in the bush, Steve. You just need to stand still. Oh, that's right. What do I want to max out first? Never asked. Uh, the the uh, poison. Oh, I was gonna say hopefully you say poison because that's where I've gone like twice. Yeah. No, no, that's good. That's a good thing to do. 
Because the, the blind is kind of a one-hit wonder, and the speed is good for speed, but you don't need that right now. You're supposed to be careful on iron. Yeah. I don't know how to be don't careful Don't forget to hit that speed when you want to run away. Oh, yeah. You know what? I forgot all about that speed. Also, don't forget that you have many potions that you can drink. To bring your health back up from almost dead. I have one potion that I can drink, but I had not been drinking it. Does want to die? Reporting in. And you know, Teemo is fun because he, he allows you to have crazy kill steals, uh, especially in the late ah! game because your attack speed is enormous. Got him. Got him that um, time. See, that's that was worth it, and people hate you for that. All right, good. You have just enough money. You can go straight to Zeal if you want. All right, now go click on the Madras Blood Razor. Don't uh, quest the Zeal. Blood Razor. Yeah, the, la the green hand all the way on the right of your suggested buy items. Okay. Start. You could get the recurve bow. Yeah, get the recurve bow. That's what recurve bow is dope. Yes. I like, it's I, only I, I like speed, getting that on Ash. But it's going to build into other items like the Wit's End, the Madras Blood Razor, uh, that one that shoots the uh, Ionic Spark. Is that what that thing's called? Yeah. Oh, I've, yeah, had, some yeah, yeah. I've had some mixed, mixed success no. with that. It's great for farming. Well, it's super good for for Teemo because he gives you uh, a lot of uh, evil shit you can lay down on. Um, but the Madras Blood Razor really uh, allows you to take on uh, big, big beefy, uh, tanky dudes. It allows you, you know, you get in there with a volley bear, uh, a Warwick, all those things. Just big things in your Madras Blood Razor. But the attack speed is really the, the cream on it. Zeal is good, uh, but you know you do have the, the having that additional yeah, movement, movement spade, <laughs> yeah, movement speed is not that uh, useful. Uh, it and by my money, if you want to get, if you want to be, you want to be a helpful teammate, like things like the executioner's call is, is more useful if you want to get crit or life steal into your into your build, because then you can also drop that on again those. Those health oriented champs and bruisers that everyone seems to like so much. Um, anyone who's trying to rock the war mogs, at mogs, fat mogs, a any mogs, all any mogs, all will the do, mogs they're all gonna they're all gonna feel the feel the sting. Um, What's your cash at right now? Six hundred. Uh, five eighty two. That's got a plan apparently. Well, I'm an ass. Well, you can get you can get the uh, you can get that razor for like a grand. Which is probably uh, going to be a good buy. Uh, Do you want him to build towards the Blood Razor? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. The, yeah, the Razors. But grand. he might also want to get. Uh, you know, if you were still in the laning phase as you're quickly leaving, uh, having the uh, the the part where you're doing additional damage to creeps is good because you can farm oh, a lot faster. Yeah, you can leave yep. those. Leave them in their path is a good move. Um, there's there's a pretty quick cooldown on them that thanks to a uh, a recent patch which allows them to be a little bit more. It's your it's your run if you got it. <laughs> uh, uh, you you're Kale dead. to die. You're dead. You're, you're dead. Sorry, Kale. You're dead. You're dead to me. Yeah. And I'm out. You didn't have any more mushrooms to put down. I now keep forget. See. I keep forgetting to spam them. So as I was just told you, in the you'll chat. see that you get a counter up above, uh, that little scully looking thing. That, and that will that'll cycle through with how many mushrooms you have available to build. Right. Um, how much are you away from the blood razor? Or not not the blood razor, just the regular razor, the hand. Uh, it's a grand, right? Yeah, it's a grand. And you got what? So I need uh, one about one twenty five. Yeah, just buy the components and go back out there. Yeah, man, come on. Yeah, that's cool. That's a good way to go. Uh, again, like I would say that uh, Timo is the kind of champion that you want to. If you get a chance to buy a Phantom Dancer, hell yeah, but don't worry about building a Zeal. You know, that kind of thing. Where, like, a Phantom Dancer is really useful, but a Zeal is just kind of clogging up your inventory before you can get you could get something like a Recurve Bow, and it really gives you what you want. Uh, because you're doing that, 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 that magic damage. Uh, again, also, AP items are not that bad a call. Like, a Doran's Ring is actually pretty useful, even if you're going to go for an attack speed build. Because that's going to keep your AP up. I mean, your mana up. And Teemo doesn't have a big problem with mana. 
but it can add up especially if you're dropping a lot of mushrooms and, and blinding a lot. If you're really active, you're going to run into those mana issues. Yeah. So having a little AP and a little mana early yes, in the game sir. is not such a bad thing. Um, hey, Steve, just uh, for my own curiosity, are the, the, out, are, the, are the outer mid and is the upper outer and the mid outer still up for the enemy team? Yes, sir. What? Towers? The tower is the yes. tower you got down the Bottom? only one. Uh, no, yeah, top is down. top. I think top is down, but there's so many icons up there I can't tell. Yeah, top is down. Oh god, I'm gonna die. So yeah, like throw throw a mushroom in the tri bush. You know, think about possible escapes and entrances. Uh, the key to the key to Timo mm -hmm. is that Timo will teach you where to ward. Because That's anywhere true, yeah. you can put a mushroom, you can put a ward. So it's definitely uh, a really good it's thing far to start away. out with. Is your teleport up, by the way? Your teleport is up. So you're you're gonna want you can think about going back oh because God. the thing about that razor, as Charlie was talking about its usefulness in the laning phase, is the earlier you get it, the more money it's gonna give you. Because the ra the razor is the sort of item that can really help compensate for a bad last hit. Like you oh know God. like me or like yourself. Uh, Cause you're gonna get so many crits on minions that it's not gonna matter. You get covered in some sort of trundle stink. Yes, Trundle put his stank on me. Oh so god! Oh my god! Run! Yeah, Timo also, run. Steve, you sure oh remember? Oh my god, they unloaded oh. on you. Oh my god. Yeah, Steve, you know the mistake you made there? <laughs> you forgot the computer doesn't check the shrub. You, yes, you were, that's you were right. Safe. You didn't need to move. I wasn't in a shrub, though. Yeah, you, you were in that side shrub. No, I wasn't. Was I? I need to go back to the videotape. Um. But basically, it doesn't matter. As long as you have a cache of, uh, to talk more about mushrooms, is. As long as you have the cache of, of any mushrooms, just put them down. Because eventually you are going to want to cover the map with as many as you can in all sorts of different spots. Um, it, it It is really fun. Like, I, I in fact think that there is a mini game called Playing Teemo. Are we going to lose a beginner bot game because these guys can't handle Blitzcrank? No, it's fine. Armed and ready. You know, because your teleport's up, you could have teleported to your mushroom and back toward these assholes, right? Oh, God. Oh, God, Don't hit the tank. There you go. He actually hit my mushroom and died, Trundle, on yep. his way away. That was pretty awesome. How you do it? Kill steal. Nice. Keep putting, keep putting those mushrooms. That's <laughs> fine. Yeah, get all that gold. You, know, you you can put them in the path, but that's really like like I said, if that's an AP move where you want to just sort of be filling up uh, spots that where people could attack. You now from. I'm just gonna say, and Charlie can feel free to to comment if he thinks that this is good or bad logic. But uh, one of your other suggested items is the frozen mallet, yeah. which is something I I really like and I often buy uh, for like because because like it adds that slow. Yeah, right. and it gives you a lot of health, and so. Uh, you're on a pretty clear path where you're going to be able to get that blood oh. razor, which is awesome. But if if you were in a situation yeah. where you had a shittier lane mate, uh, or you felt like you're just you didn't have enough health, you could break away and not just build straight to the blood razor, but like use your next 1100 to buy the giant's belt, and then that's going to give you like a lot of extra health at a pretty early point in the game. Yeah, giant. Um, uh, uh, that 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 item is quite good yes, because. Sir. Again, you're slowing people, allowing you to get more hits on them, which eventually is going to cause more damage. Well, essentially, you kind of want to bait the crap out of people and trick them. Um, and then when they follow you into a bush, yeah, you put down, a dog. bunch I'm of mushrooms I'm waiting for down. my mushroom to reload. There it is. Ah. No. Did you run up? Yeah, you can just lay into this dude. Turn around. Yeah, no, fuck him. No, 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 no. Just, just eat, eat up all these minions, get the gold, buy shit. <laughs> like, don't. Ah! Too close, man. Too close. Did Trundle just go through my tri bush mushroom? Yeah, Probably. I will I say, I I will say uh, a skill that you. No, he missed it. He you actually experienced it. by uh, in, in playing uh, champions two, frequently three, is you learn their range. Um, so, obviously, you, you didn't know how to sort of kite him at your max range but keeping people at your max range with TMO is, is a good skill and that's usually what people uh, complain of you being a kill stealer because they don't realize that you can stand pretty far away and do a lot of damage um, while they're playing Trindamir and can barely hit anything um, 
shoulder. Yeah, just get it. Yeah, that's good. You're in good shape. So the Madras Blood Razor is all about, uh, you know, like doing a percentage of their max health. So you're going to see people are going to just melt. Market pendant. Um, I would Amplify say uh, start start building that uh, phage or how much money do you have? Uh, 484, 45. Yeah, just go back. Yeah. Uh, go, go, no, no, no. Go to the fade. Go to the, click on the frozen mallet. Under the fade, you'll see, buy that health crystal. There you go. Mm -hmm. Gem in the um, you know, and uh, and and start invading like in in a game where you know your jungle you want to want to protect. You would be filling the river with mushrooms yes, at this point because obviously the laning phase has kind of ended. Yeah. But in in a real game, you know, there would be a lot of back and forth, and having a sort of a you know think about covering the ri covering the river and the river entrances with mushrooms is a good spot. Uh, protecting mid is a great thing, great place to drop. Oh god, them. I'm not watching. And then you know, protecting that center lane uh, by getting all those entrances yeah, filled with uh, uh, mushrooms is definitely a, a really good, good move. Oh god, notice how much damage. You're doing. Yes, a lot of damage. Is being oh man, good. I just got the crap stunned out of me. It's fine. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, it's always good to fall back so the minions take all the, all the hits. I want to um, stop them before the tower. So, uh, oh, one thing I didn't, I hadn't thought about, but when it comes to mushroom placement, uh, you know, I don't know if this if this holds up or not, but it thinks that it makes me think that you could, if you look at how the pathing works when you click on a remote point, if you place mushrooms along that line, you really punish people that are clicking on a remote location, like Dragon, for example, and just putting it on autopilot. Yeah, yeah, that 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 is true. Uh, my 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 guess is to always try to hit entrances because obviously people are gonna go via those, like there. Yeah, that's yeah, a perfect spot. The um, chokiest of choke points. Choke points. Hit every choke point, but also hit brushes because people instinctively dive in there to get away, and so that and that's, that's how you get your free uh, also, kills. Also, uh, an important thing is remember that mushrooms get kill creeps. So if you leave them in a path of a creep, then you're just you're hitting, you're doing damage to creeps. When you really, what you're going to do is do give vision and yeah, that that bush right there is the money bush. Always put a ward there. Um, the uh, so you know that those are those are good things. It's like I I feel like if you if you if creeps are hitting your mushrooms, they're putting them in a you're putting them in a bad spot. Um, even if they sit there like the entire game for that one moment when some douchebag jumps into a brush. That okay, I killed it. I killed Ash. I can go back now. Drop one now. Oh, you want me to drop one here yep. anyway? Love I love you to put a ward there. there. It's got to be there. Well, you got to be a ward can, there. And then you can teleport back there. True. So does that. And then kill all the wraiths. Because why not? All right. So. Ooh, all right, clown can you phase. phase. No, don't buy the clown phase. Yeah. You can finish, finish your phase or you can get the giant's belt. How much money do you have? 1200? 1250? Yeah, or is yeah. that 1750? Get the phage. That's 12. Yeah, get the phage. You guys and your crazy. Yes. What's going on over here? You know, again, great items. Wit's End uh, for, for magic. It uh, gives you more speed. You know, stack up those items and give you speed. You want to hit your... Getting getting uh, getting your attack speed up is really great. He's not a high damage champion, but the addition of that poison plus a high attack speed, you can kind of shred people pretty bad. Um, so, you know, think about things that would benefit that case. Uh, he is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, Timo's all right. Do I own Timo? No. I may have to purchase Timo. Everyone should have Timo. Timo, Timo makes you a better player because you, you when you what get care? into placing mushrooms, you you will have a you will have a legitimately good. An enemy has been slain. I, I, I'm firm in my belief that the mushroom mini game <laughs> is, is, is a, a good game. Is a good game. Um. What's going on out there? Come on, guys. Yeah, ignore the rest. Ignore your team and all other things because <laughs> you're going to take this tower down like ASAP. Now, of course, the uh, counters to Teemo are people who buy oracles and go hunting for mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, they want to, you know, which is not really a counter. It's the kind of thing that you do that you That's force what you them be doing, to spend yeah. 400 gold to do this. 
so that that's that's a good thing. That's a good payoff. Now, do the mushrooms, the ones that I've placed, do they ever uh, disappear? Never disappear. Never disappear. That's why you want to cover the map with them. And that's why. That's why you want to find those mushroom, spots where uh, you know the the creeps uh, aren't going to run into. I should put that a little further over. Bye, turn a bot. Come here. You can't bait him if you can't. <laughs> also, he makes cool sounds. <laughs> like a race car. <laughs> like that. <laughs> like a race car. Oh, I'm out of mana. Uh, but Stupid in, in general, like, you know, it's basically when you see the fail teamos, they're people that do not put a lot of mushrooms down. I mean, like, if you see a map covered with mushrooms, you're playing with a good teamo. If you don't... Oh, uh, Trundle. Uh, no, no, he's not, probably not. Um, also, if they're, if they're going for the high attack speed, know that they are going to kill Steely. You just need to live with that and be thankful that your team has a lot of I don't uh, I don't ever complain about kill steals or anything. As far as I'm concerned, as long as someone on my team is killing someone on the other team, that's fine. Yeah, they, well that's it's how sensible a team people game. think, but like <laughs> know that know that, that is that is a pain. Oh I oh I know. I, I have been accused of kill stealing with Ash many, many, many times. Oh god. I don't uh, think yeah, I can you take it. You just need to go. Right you have a ton of money, so you if you can't you might be able if you if not completing the frozen mallet outright you can at least get the giant's belt right now. Oh, I could just get them to follow me. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, there's still too many of them. I know, but but still. Yeah, this is good. See, look at that. Just, just oh, oh, Trundle. Oh, thanks, bud. <laughs> thanks. All right, I stand corrected. I shouldn't question you. I should not have questioned. That's you. what I was hoping was going to happen. Yeah, it's like Domino Rally. Oh, oh, rise. I have no mana, so I can't turn on my speed. Uh. Well, you do get the speed bonus once you get that ability. It's just when you get hit, it goes away. Whereas the speed bonus is like, I need speed now. So it's a, it's a useful, it's a, it's a way to extend your speed. Why investing in something like a zeal isn't as good as being able to outright buy fan. Because Phantom Dancer gives you such a ludicrous uptick. In yes, and, and as pointed out in the chat, don't come near me, Blitzcrank. There, there are a certain set of heroes who are supposed to be, you know, yeah, carrying Yeah, you can buy the frozen mallet now. Yeah. Uh, and, and they well, are supposed much, to get you have any money left? Uh, 380. So not yeah, really. Yeah, you can't buy anything with that. Don't worry about it. What, what were you saying from the chat? That uh, uh, the, that the, the carry should be really be getting the kills because they need them to scale. Oh. Um, but a Phantom Dancer in general, you know, in the later game, gives you speed, yeah, gives you yeah. crit. He's really good. Like, you know, the thing that marries well with, with attack speed is crit um, because it, it kind of pays off very well with that. I'm so on my way. Those, those things can be uh, really, really helpful. You know, just out of curiosity, you may want to look <laughs> at Kale's build when he, next time you hit, hit a tab and just see how she's doing because that's going to, you know... I'm sure she got hers. All right. Um, another another Ooh. champion that is uh, actually a pretty good counter to Teemo is uh, um, what's her name? Um, oh, I'm not placing mushrooms. I'm a fail Teemo. Sivir, uh, because Sivir has that mana barrier, so she can basically if. If she were to know, if if you were very explicit about where your mushrooms were going down, she could put her mana, she could put her uh, spell shield on and get, and basically you're feeding her mana because she can walk through it. It will negate the the explosion, and she'll get mana back for negating. Um, so that's that's kind of a thing to be aware of. Uh, also, you know, Morgana with her spell shield could could walk through your. Uh, yeah. Walk through your, and, and just diminish the damage. So in that case, you can't really dependent be dependent on your um, your abilities in those cases because they're they're easily countered by those uh, those champions. That's a little bit worse, I'd say, for Caitlyn because it's obvious that there's a bear trap down, whereas the mushrooms aren't visible. So uh, they just, uh, Sivir wouldn't have as much. 
you Yeah, if you can drive him off, you may want to just attack the... One, two, three, four, yeah, I got another line of creeps coming, so I'm going to try and get these guys out of here. Man, why am I clicking so much? Ah, and and in general, he is he is the kind of champion that is not a heavy presence in lane. Uh, as the game goes on, you should see less and less of him. He should just sort of show up to uh, uh, clean up all the kills at the end. With the yeah, to, to, to kill steal like like a crazy person. Yeah. So doing things like that is is, is good because he's got you know, high movement speed, so he can join join fights, but sort of be off on his own and not really be a big presence. I, you know, there, the internet will tell you crazy things like tank Teemo builds, <laughs> and I'm sure there's a there's an amazing jungler guy. Uh, there's all sorts of ways to build characters in this game, but uh, uh, I say go with the uh, the safe and sane that you build and uh, drop it. And maybe you can help you. Very good. Maybe this will be the game where you hit level 20, Steve. We'll see. Well, I don't I know think, if uh, I can get crazy. Uh, what I need, 98. Geometry bliss crank over there is going to have problems. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I needed 98 XP. Oh, I got it. I got 95. I needed 88, apparently. All right, high five. Welcome to level 20. I'm Welcome level 20. to the adult rune shop. I will never, never play this game again now. Format my hard drive. Thank and you, you guys have saved in the cloud. And you all played well enough. Steve's oh. making friends in the beginner bots. And I will automatically go and see how much Teemo is, because I will probably just purchase him. He is him. a 3,100 champion. Sort out. Sort out. Yeah, I'm dude. just like, what am I doing, man? Sort by Teemo. Sort by Teemo. Should no, you want to buy all, all your runes first? I'm, I'm fine with that. I still have 13. Yeah, you're good. So... Um. Uh. All right, no more Ash. No, no more Ash. You gotta play only Teemo. You can play Teemo. You can play Caitlyn. You can play Graves. You can play Tristana. Now I gotta do something with my <laughs> my root <laughs> which is quite barren. <laughs> That's fine. It just means you didn't waste money. I wish I could go back in time and not have bought any. I still did. I wasted quite a bit though. I got up to the yeah. The quintessence says at level ten. You were not, I had I had I was two, so excited. I had at least two full rune sheets. Uh, in and around level twenty, that were all of the mid tier runes. So I am, I invested a lot in these. Can I things. combine any runes? I did not know the where. combining mini game. All right. Well, uh. We should hit the road because it's getting late. And I got to get ready for my plane. All right, I, I have so. to leave for the airport in three hours. So, yeah, I got a bathtub full of bleach. So, what? I don't want to know. All right, don't say it on the internet. Thanks for joining us. Uh, the second to last hit uh, always appreciates your viewing. Yeah, yeah, we'd like a thumbs up on our YouTube page. Yep. give us a thumbs up as it many thumbs as plane. you can. Also, like, uh, give us suggestions because uh, you know of of content you'd like to see. I mean, we're we're as far as. Uh, second to last hit content you know uh, remember we're only marginal at best uh, players but <laughs> we'd love to try some exotic builds or do some crazy shit you want to see some crazy shit suggest it we will try it so you don't get reported I, yeah we will try we'll it get so reported you get so reported. you don't have to <laughs> that actually could be a great slogan so um or that's the, the slash reported podcast <laughs>